think a lot of us share the same thing. It's like one of our earliest memories is just like drawing. So, I mean, yeah, as a kid, that's the only thing I did. And it was, it's funny because it was one of the only things that I consistently did throughout all my life was a straw. I didn't really know necessarily what I'd do with it. I just knew I wanted to. In terms of like things that I kind of really wanted to do, I didn't really see that um, necessarily in my environment. We didn't really have murals or street art in that way. So I kind of had to get my own inspiration from anything else. If it was the internet, it was magazines, like, you know, um, just kind of living in my own head at the same time. At the end of 2014, I had I had gone to Mexico. I had gone to Cancun for like a conference and like art exhibition, um, kind of talk about my work and like present, you know, what I was doing. I, I, after that point, I realized like the power of what I could do, and like I even felt more confident in what I was doing and started to kind of like really push um, and develop my style because I think that that's like. Not to say that style is like necessarily super important, but I feel like having your own signature to the point where people can recognize it, that's hard to grab. I think I'm still growing, but I feel like, I would say like ever since 2014, I started to feel like a real artist for the most part at least. That, that identity kind of Yeah, like that identity kind of really coming, coming across. When I really like started to like, look at what I was doing on the crew, I think that's when I kind of had the aha moment of like, oh, okay, I think I'm really, I think I'm really doing this. I joined the Navy like two weeks out of high school with my best friend from high school. Um, we still get stoned and watch Top Gun too often, so thought we were going to be like Maverick and Goose. But uh, it didn't really turn out to be like that. They wanted to kick me out a couple times and and uh, after the last time where it was really serious, I kind of took a whole different perspective to it. Played the game and figured out how to make it work. But yeah, I wanted to get out. There was no intention to stay in for life. Shortly after that, I, uh, I got into art and I went to school for graphic design. It's been a fun journey because, uh, you know, without being a part of Pow Wow and, and uh, having this, um, this bigger picture of something greater than just myself to work towards, has kind of, um, it's, it's just helped strip away the ego from, uh, from my work a lot of times. It gave me a, um, a chance to be able to learn so much, all these different techniques from all these different artists and, and seeing how they communicate their, their voice and their style through their work uh, really inspired me to figure out how to do the same with mine. And it's, you know, it goes back to the whole identity thing. You know, when I was in the military, I, I didn't identify as, as being in the military. It was, always, it was always a struggle to figure out where I should fit in. But uh, as soon as I started working with all the artists with Pow Wow, it's, uh, it's amazing to like recognize that all of these guys are like my brothers and sisters that I've never met before. And being able to, to feel like, okay, this is where I belong, this is what I'm doing, this is, this is my passion, this is something that um, I want to be able to do for the rest of my life. 